Hey, this is Chuck from Monocoque Metalworks. It's a Thursday afternoon. I'm actually cleaner than I usually am because we're getting caught up. Earlier this week, I finished one of our in-house restoration projects and this is it. This is a 69 Series 2 coupe. You take a close look at the front end. We have converted the bonnet to Series 1 style except for the large Series 2 opening. This is going to be kind of a street competition car. So there's a lot of upgrades and conversion things on this one in addition to the usual rust repair and all of that. So I'll, I'll go over some of that stuff. We put in the Series 1 covered headlights. You can see there are no holes around here. This car is going to get the competition style lenses, which will be cut right to this and just have about four little screws right there that hold it. We've kept the large Series 2 intake, so it's kind of got a little more of a mean look. It won't have any bumpers on it, but it will still have the factory seams. I like to keep the seams because when people let them over or fill them in, it doesn't look right. You need these lines there. And for a factory race car look, that's what they did. They didn't do all this filling in. They just took the bumpers off and went racing. So there's your Series 1 light with our conversion flanges. You can get them here. We've also cut in for the Series 1 turn signals. And you can see we've welded on little brackets. That took a lot of time. We had to make sure that was lined up just right. And then, of course, down here on the Series 2 lower valance, we have removed the uh, turn signal pod here, put in a filler piece, and dressed that down. Brent made those up in the English wheel. So that's what the front looks like. Of course, we fitted the bonnet to the shell. This is the original bonnet from this shell, but you've got new rockers and lots of changes, so you always refit. I always retrim the back edge. I like to trim this to 3 16 of an inch. You come over and take a look, you'll see that's the only way you're going to get that dead straight line across there. Um, and so it's 3 16 even all the way around. So if we pop this open, you can see that we shim it and fit it with all the latches in place. You gotta have that. You gotta have the rubber seal in there. These are the original frame rails. They were good and straight. Another shop had done a few little repairs to them and it looked okay. So we did fill these with red oxide on the inside. That's one of our little tricks to make sure they don't rust again. Of course, it's been shimmed and everything. You can see it's all been Restored by us here. There was some accident damage. We did a good job taking care of that. That came out better than I thought, actually. It's all been coated with two coats of a two-part epoxy primer. And then we've reassembled it all after priming it. We've re-glued everything. You can see all the new hardware. We're putting new brackets on up here. So, you know, we've done all those adjustments. You can see up here, there's some spots I haven't sanded down. This is where we've made sure that the rear edge was tucked in nice and tight to this so that, and that seal keeps wanting to pop out over there. When you go ahead and close this, you've got a nice follow there. And this will all get smoothed out and block sanded at the next shop, which is the body shop. Now we've also reskinned both doors. Um, again, you're looking for 3 16 around the door, but a lot of factory E types have more like a quarter inch up here and an eighth of an inch in the back. You cannot get greedy and tighten this up because once you start putting on high build primers and paint, you're gonna close these gaps up and it will chip right here. This is real tight clearance but you do want a tight fit up here. And you can see where the factory has leaded this seam. We have actually built up this seam with lead. You can see the marks right there and dressed it down so that it is a little tighter up here on that horizontal seam. Now I'm gonna go around to the other side to show you what we've done on the inside. Pretty much every car that comes through here gets New floors, new inner and outer sills, new cross member, that's all 18 gauge, where originally it was 19 gauge, so it's a little bit thicker. And then this car, like all the ones we do, has our hidden internal subframe. So there is roll cage strength, heavy rectangular tubing welded inside the sills along here. You can see it right through this hole. These holes are actually drain holes for the factory did a 
dipping process with primer. Of course, it didn't work very well because they all rusted, but I'm pretty sure that's what those large holes are for. So you've got your tubing running along there. We've also got a piece of that tubing running along in here under this factory cross member. So the factory piece ends up just being kind of a cover to make the carpet fit because there's a real thick piece of tubing under there. And then we've also got a piece of that tubing running right across here behind the seat dish panel. This car is going to get a roll bar installed at another shop and these are the pads for that. So the roll bar will be bolted in, but underneath of here, there's a corresponding pad that's threaded and tapped out. And then there is a piece of tubing that goes straight up and down to tie that all in to kind of this flat roll cage that is in here. We put that in all of these cars. I really like it. It gives you uh, strength. It gives you stability. It really stiffens up the shell for driving. You've got this bar going across, so if you get broadsided, it's not gonna fold up on itself because I have seen Rec-D type shells where the inner sill is pushed right up against this. So you don't wanna be inside there when that happens. So then if you come around to the back, you'll see we've also put in, as is standard process, new boot floor, new rear lower balances. They all pretty much get that. This whole area was real nice on this, so we didn't have to do anything fancy there. We did convert this. Remember, it was a Series 2, a 69 coupe. We converted this to a Series 1 in the tail. So we cut this, you know, it would have had this flange going all the way around like this with that. It's a three-piece bumper, but it kind of looks like a big one-piece thing going around. We cut this out. And then I hammered this over in this shape. That's kind of tricky when you're doing it on the car. We've replaced this license panel. These are all new panels that we made here. You've got this license surround piece. There's your series one license lamps in there. This filler panel completes this area like a series one. And then over here, there's a little filler piece to fill out the series two rear lower balance. Now, normally we would just use a series one rear lower balance in a conversion like this, but the customer brought in brand new Series 2s with this car, so we just did this like you would do our tail conversion at home. Then you've got this little filler piece here. Took forever to put these little brackets in here to get them lined up just right so that your, your Series 1 turn signals fit right there real nicely. Um, again, in the back, these flanges will just be smoothed out and sanded down. They won't have bumpers back here. It's gonna have that racing look like you just pulled the bumpers off, put on some Lexan headlight covers and went racing. So that's pretty much it for this one. Again, you know, new door skins. Um, I just did a little video the other day showing these. And of course, there's a lot of other stuff, gussets and closing panels that you don't really see here, but it's all done and we're happy to get one done and out the door. Next, we're gonna jump right back into these two. That's a flat floor Roadster and a flat floor Coupe. Um, they are both real close to done, and they're gonna be next. And then, if you pan around, you can see this place is full of the next projects. There's a lot of things underway, so we're hoping for a real productive fall. So, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Any of these conversion pieces you see, or the hidden subframe, all of that, we're the source for that. Call or write anytime. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot.